my personal dog. She is a rescue dog. She's three years old also. I haven't started training her yet at all. Uh, Stetson, he's a little odd out of the bunch. More than welcome, pet blossom all you want to. I just ask you to pet Stetson. A couple reasons why he's a little iffy. Another reason why when he's working, he has to be bored at work. So I'll let everyone pay who's not going to to listen to. Now if he's at home, he gets ready to dog treats just like any other dog. So is Blossom. Um, I've worked with Blossom a little bit. You usually start them out when they're about six months old. And you start teaching them basic commands such as that'll do here to fly down in the state. And once they get that down pat, we'll start to introduce them to a livestock. Most of it's just all natural to them. You just got to work with which way you want them to go, such as combine is clockwise, a way is counterclockwise. Once they understand that, then they start working circles around the dog. Last thing you teach them is to drive the livestock away. Alright? Border collars are bred to dry, uh, bring livestock to you. So when you start driving livestock away with the border collars, you get kind of confused about it. So that's the last thing we teach them. Alright? Uh, so I won't be working Blossom today, but like I said, you're more than welcome to pet her all you want to. Sometimes she does escape and end up out there somehow. I'm not so sure now. <laughs> Stetson just kind of stays to itself unless I'm just in here with it. Y'all have any questions about either dog? Okay, class. Record a video. Hi. <laughs> Camera. Really okay, fast, class. Okay? Okay, class. Now, Hide the viewfinder. Yeah, you have full grown wool sheep, like these. And that's a miniature wool sheep. And then the one like this that still looks kind of straggly looking as hair sheep. Alright? Now, you can't do nothing with the hair, it's individual fibers. Alright? Now, all hair, or all sheep started out as hair sheep. Then man kept crossbreeding until they came up with wool sheep. So, wool sheep is actually man made. Alright, but my question for y'all is, if we can't do anything with the hair, why do we still raise hair sheep? Oh uh, yes, we could do that. Oh, uh, you can't make wool out of the hair. Can't do nothing with the hair. Milk. Do what? Meat. Absolutely. Alright, now we're on the right track. What's another reason? Absolutely. We only produce about two quarts a day though, so you don't get a lot of milk from one sheep. Alright? But it's lactose free. So that's a good thing about sheep milk or goat milk. Alright? Now, if you had sheep and goats out here, how could you tell the difference between a sheep and a goat? A dash and goat or goat? Oh, uh, sheep have horns too, just depends on the type. Their tails. Alright. Sheep's tail will always point down. A goat's tail will point up. Alright. What do you call a male sheep? Some don't have tails at all. We dock those tails. I'll explain that just in a second. Hang on. Alright, you're right. They are called rams. 